Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, sir. The boys are back in town. Rats Sports News. RSM, RSM Podcast. Chill. Ch- Ch- what up, man? What's going on? Oh, man. We, we back at it, man. It's, it's been a tough morning, man. It was a long night. Yeah. Colorado. <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Another week down. Yes, sir. Let's get into some topics. All right. First, starting off with some sad news. Wanda Smith from the Frank and Wanda show. She passed away yesterday. That was a complete shocker. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to hear that. I mean, again, you know, you never expect to hear anybody's passed away. But um, I was just like, I just caught me from left field on that one. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? I wasn't expecting that at all. And she was such like a um, great voice. You know, it was nice to hear. I used to listen to that show a lot. Even when she was with, um, I think it was Ryan Cameron. Yeah, I remember Ryan. Yeah. I listened to that one too. So spend a lot of days, you know, listening to her. Most yeah. memorable is, of course, her and Kat going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, did they say how old she was? She's 58. Wow, that's young, man. Yeah. Wow. So rest in peace and, you know, thank you. And she was so nice to upcoming artists. Like, I got to meet her a few times and she was always kind. That's what's up, man. All right. New music. J. Cole drops on on Instagram. Port Antonio pretty much responding to him, you know, ducking out the fight earlier this year. Yeah, man. I listened to it once. I got to go back and listen to it a few more times. But just off that one listen, I was like, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I rock I I'll, I'll rock to it. Um, again, you know, I'm the type of person I listen to it multiple times. But um, just off that one listen, I think that was a good, I don't want to call it a comeback, but a good follow-up. From yeah. where he left off. Yeah. Like, I felt like he needed that to to kickstart, all right, what you going to do next? Right. Kind of like uh, gearing up towards his album, The Fall Off. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he wants people to be excited about it because him doing that earlier made a lot of people lose interest. Of course, he has his core fans that they're not going nowhere, but. Yeah. Yeah, nowadays, man, it's tough, man, because people, they lose interest fast, right? Mm-hmm. So, you got to keep keep something going. But after the way everything turned out, I kind of understand him ducking out of it. Yeah, I mean, I I agree. I think, you know, I, I never believed J. Cole to be a super gangster guy in real life and out there would do something reckless. Um, but at the same time, since he ducked out of the beef, it's like, okay, well, I can't ever hear him talk tough on the record no more. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, yo, oh, wait, 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 you ain't want to smoke before. So you you can't ask for it now. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we don't we ain't gonna believe any tough talk. All right, we got more new music. Glorilla, she's dropping her debut album, Glorious. Glorilla. So we'll see how that does. I haven't heard nothing from it yet, but I'm sure she'll have a single on it that everybody likes. Yeah, no, for sure, man. Shout out to Glorilla. Uh, what you think is uh, who you think the top like three female artists right now? Hip hop. Or Lotto, rap. Lotto, and Lotto. <laughs> Shout out to Big Mama. Yeah. Rod Wave, he dropped a new album, Last Lap. So, you know, he definitely does numbers every time he drops. He's a pretty much platinum selling certified artist. Word. Big X the Plug, new artist. He dropped Take Care. And Rich the Kid and Famous Dex with Rich Forever 5. Okay, okay. New music is coming. Yep. All right. We got T.I. He had an announcement that... He's done. <laughs> he don't want to rap no more. He don't want to jump up on stage and sweat no more. Uh, I think he got that check from that toy uh, company, and he's just done. Yeah, he. That's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. Allegedly, he, he he got a check, and he checked out. Allegedly, that's 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 what I think happened. He like, nope. That's what people say when they get too much money. Like, and it's never so so a uh, thing as such. It's too much money, but when they get enough money, where they feel like, oh, I'm good. Like, I'm sure he had money before, but now he probably like, nah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you got it. But I think they were suing that company for like something like seventy million dollars. Yeah, I think they. Yeah, they. And I'm pretty sure they got it. Um, it was. It was a high number. Like, it was up there. It was close to $100 million. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I'm sure T.I. got money before, but this kind of money? Yeah, I feel you. I wouldn't be doing one anything check? I was previously doing either. 
You're like, nah. Y'all have to get your hip hop news from someone else. <laughs> 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 but I still need money, so I'm here. All right. Charleston White, he got arrested for, I think, a gun charge and what was it? Um, illegal drug? substance. Illegal, su- illegal substance. I okay. don't know which substance. All right. <laughs> but some substance. Yeah, man, I got to stay out of jail, man. It's almost, you know, we getting the holiday time. We about to, about to go Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that. Everybody going to be in jail. They ain't going to be at home. Everybody going to be in jail. <laughs> like, come on, dog. Come on, man. Well, well I guess that's an excuse for not buying um, Christmas gifts. No. Right. <laughs> right. I was locked up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one was super interesting, man. And I want to go. Project Pat, he's a preacher of a church out in uh, Arkansas. <laughs> 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 and I want to go so bad. <laughs> Bro, is, Arkansas is not that far. We could literally leave like Saturday, <laughs> uh, get, book a hotel, go to church, and then come back after service. Yo, three. I have to see this in person. Yeah, come on, man. The- I, I just, it's just hard to take that serious. Like, <laughs> Project Pat, Pastor Project Pat in the in the pulpit. I don't know. I hope, I hope, you know. Worshiping some Jesus. Yeah, if he, if worshiping he. Worshiping some work. Worshiping <laughs> some Jesus. <laughs> if he said anything like that. If he were to say anything <laughs> like that. I'd be no good. I'd be no good, man. I don't know. I feel like. I feel like I I couldn't go. We, we can't go into church, man. We might get struck by lightning going up in there. <laughs> no, three six mafia. I mean, Project Pat. Hey, he he's not getting struck by lightning, so something gotta oh, be going no, right. So I hope I hope it's legit. I hope you would think after that career he would walk in there and just burn in the flames. Yeah, pretty much stuff he was talking about. Right, but <laughs> but but at the at the same time, okay, let me flip my point of view my perspective on this i guess it makes sense mm-hmm. in a way you've been in in the in the dark and i don't call it the dark but you've been in some mess for so long i yeah. guess ain't no other way for him to go right but towards the light so so like are we gonna go we might just <laughs> schedule a road trip man we might have to go with arkansas i've never been to arkansas i've never been to arkansas either all right 50 cent he's suing a jeweler and so basically from what I heard, the jeweler had copied the chain that he had. Yeah, it was a picture, I think, with 50 and Drake. He had a chain on, a custom chain that was made specifically for him. Mm-hmm. And the jeweler took the picture and posted it on his gram. It was like, in, or a video of the, like, he had his phone and was doing a video, like, showing, like, oh, yeah, if you want a chain like 50, like, we're making chains like 50. <laughs> 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 and without talking to him or nothing, just like, oh yeah, we're making change like the one fifty got on right here. Yeah. Like trying to get people to you know, using fifty's publicity or his his notoriety, I should say, to get customers. And fifty wasn't liking that, bro. He's like, yo, you getting this you getting sued for five million, dog. Yeah. But this is my thing. Wouldn't the other jeweler go at him instead? That's a good point. I don't know. That's i I'm curious. I don't know who made that, but maybe the other jeweler don't don't care or didn't know Mm -hmm. but for him he's like nah this was custom this was custom Uh, so it's 50's idea okay i got you like kind of intellectual property type mm -hmm. gotcha yeah man stop stealing people's ideas that's not cool that's yeah he said had that had money by monday i have it have it by monday or whatever and you know what it is so I, i think i don't know the dude made a video talking about 50 Crosses for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yo, fifty and crosses for forgiveness." Nah, son. He like nah. He said, "He said fifty responded." Let me think about it. Nah, you know what the vibe is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of the goats of producing Pharrell, he was on Hot Ones this week mm-hmm. with um Sean, and he he wasn't really feeling towards the end. After he got past like that six wing, he nah, was like, "Yeah, he was, I'm he probably was, ain't coming back." Yeah, he was like, "What would he say?" I could, I, he could see all a, a vision can, of the future. I, I can see future. the future. I see myself not ever, <laughs> not ever doing this again. <laughs> right? No, nah, man. See, for him to get that far, what it is for me, I I commend him on that because I I wouldn't have made it. Like I don't, I I can I, I'm not a spicy eater. 
know what I'm saying? I, I can tolerate some stuff sometimes, but he just had a glass of milk up there and yeah. and some hot wings. I'm like, nah, dog. I need some. I need some ginger ale. I need something on my stomach. Some ice cream. I need something. This is ridiculous. Yeah. At the end, he was like, you know, regular wings is fine. You know, just plain fried chicken. You can eat that too. But no, nah, I'm just glad that he made it because when um, Pusha T was on, he didn't make it to the end. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I would. You think you would have made it to the end? I don't know. I wonder, but. I feel like I would push through even if it was killing me because Courtney Cox was on it from Friends. Uh, she made it to the end. Mm. So I'm not going to let someone like that beat me. Now, the other part of it, too, is the other part of it, he was cutting the chicken up with the knife and the fork. It wasn't like you eating a chicken wing yeah, was, and you got to eat the whole, you know, all the all the chicken off the bone. That's one. That's different. So I think just chopping it up and eating a portion of it and not the whole thing makes a difference, too, even though it's still hot. I don't think he ate the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, in news, Obama had a message. He wanted to talk to black people. Uh-oh. Or black men. Black men. Or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a a sign of strength because that's what being a man is putting women down that's not acceptable he's saying that uh yeah uh oh black men are being sexist not voting for Kamala uh oh Obama on <laughs> Obama said you don't speak to me <laughs> if you ain't voting for Kamala Kamala Harris you ain't rocking with me, dog. What do so you think about that? First they go with magic, right? Then they bring out the big guns, Obama. Obama's really not king like that no more. And I get what he's trying to do, right? It's the identity politics again. But he already played that card. Yeah? That was a shame on us type of deal. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of black people, they voted for Obama back in 2008 because they wanted to see that. We never saw it before. Mm-hmm. This was a black man with a black wife. Two small black children, and we wanted to see what that looked like. He was educated, and we thought it would help us out. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, basically, he already used that card. So Kamala coming around saying, oh, well, I'm black, too. It's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm laughing because that's li- that's literally, like, her play, like, and not to cut off your point, that's literally what was her play. Like, oh, yeah, I'm black, y'all. So? Yeah. <laughs> so? And? So what you going to do? We've seen this before. Like, they're trying to, like, kind of rebrand her as, like, a female Obama. But, like, a lot of people, they look back on Obama's legacy and they don't, some people don't like it. Yeah. Uh, um, That's facts. I think. I'm just kind of I'm like you said I'm over the whole I'm black too I don't care what color you are what are you gonna do Mm -hmm. that's what we've been asking how are you gonna get results Mm -hmm. how are you gonna get us from point A to point B or at least a plan for it and 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 taking actionable steps baby steps something like I just feel like um as much as interested I am in the whole election I'm disinterested yeah. Just like, all right, and it's here like, we go again. It's like so many things that people don't like about Kamala, even away from the um, the immigration, the proxy war, stuff like that. There's just like things that she does or says that it's hard to be, it's hard to be on her side about. Yeah, no facts. Um, I don't know. It's like, where do we go? Like. Again, there's another situation where I feel like we got two candidates that I just don't feel like it's going to do anything. Well, I take that back. I feel like at least with Trump, I, the economy was better mm-hmm. when he was there. That's the one thing the that economy. people lean on. Yeah, that, that's that's what I lean on with that. Like We didn't have any wars. No, nah, everything... You know, of course, you got your your racist people, but they're gonna do that no matter what. It's not because of specifically Trump. It's 
I feel like it's people who use him being in office for a reason to do something that they was already going to do anyways. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, gas was cheap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like people's, I, people's credit was up. Yeah, I had no, I had no complaints. Mm -mm. And like uh, Kamala, she was on Cobalt Cobalt show this week, right? Mm. And this is what I mean about her just like doing stuff, right? She had a beer on it, or at least she pretends she was drinking one, but she drank a Miller High Life. And I'm like, what are you, a 22 year old <laughs> frat boy? Like, <laughs> out of all the things you could have drank, you could have drank a Shock Top, Blue Moon, the Seckies, yeah. Corona. Mardello, I even will let you slide with a Michelo, but like you're drinking like a broke college kid, yeah, or pretending on. to drink it. Come on, dog. <laughs> Blue moon, Corona, something. You can't do that. <laughs> I just unacceptable. What do you think Trump would have drunk? He would have drank some Hennessy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see him drinking it like a Jack Daniels. Yeah, or. uh Probably some bourbon. Right? Bourbon, bourbon. Yeah, he's too rich for that. Yeah. <laughs> he's too rich for that. All right, moving on. Milton it hit Florida this week, and it did a lot of damage. I think it dropped from Category 5 to a 3, but, you know, they're still kind of messed up around the Tampa area. But it didn't hit as hard as what they thought it would. Yeah, thank God for that, because um, there's a lot of people who's been terribly affected by these hurricanes, and glad that, you know, Things um are not getting worse, mm -hmm. um, but still, there's millions of people I think still without power in certain places and stuff like that. So, you know, um, if you have the resources too, if you know somebody who's affected, you know, find a way to help, man. Um, I know there's a lot of companies out there right now that's trying to uh, assist, but I think sometimes when these things happen, people talk about it, news cover it, and people go help the first couple weeks, but then. People still ain't got homes, still ain't got power, still ain't got this, still ain't got that, you know, for the long road. And they get they get forgotten about. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you can, if you're able to, just uh, find a way to help. All right. And in George County, Foot Locker, there was a man that lost his life to two or three people. Yeah, I believe they caught two of the suspects. There's one still um, on the run. Uh, I don't there's no context behind why they shot him what the altercation was about, um, how it happened, is we just know that it's three guys uh, responsible and, and one person dead. So. Yeah, so rest in peace. Word. Cam Newton, he made a deal with ESPN. Man, he on first take with Stephen A. Smith. That's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, he got Stephen A. Smith ain't slick, man. He, he got Shannon Sharp. He pulled Molly. He got all of them. On his show, uh, I think he's like makes the right moves for the long run. Yeah, for sure, he's smart. He's been in the business for a minute now, so mm -hmm. he knows what to do, and he kind of has his um, finger on the pulse of sports like that. Yeah, and I think also I'm wondering if it's like people who he talked to that he kind of cool with, and he say, "Yo, go do your own show, spend some time, get the experience of doing it." Get the numbers up, so when I bring you on, they can't they can't deny you. Yeah, that's, you know, that's smartest, what it feel like. That's the smartest way. Shay Shay, Cam Newton, like people he bring on there. It's always people who got their own platform. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way to do it, though. Yeah, rather than like being straight off the streets and no one knows them. Exactly, and now they're bringing their crowd over there too. Mm -hmm. So, and Cam Newton, he he he's pretty good. His show's pretty good. It's entertaining. He has some funny questions. He gets in trouble sometimes though. Yeah, I used to, I used to, when, when we first came out with the show, I was like, like why are you wearing them hats like that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just hats, dog. Yeah. All right. Talk to us about some college football. All right. Well, we had, uh, I'll talk about two games specifically. We had number two against number three. We had the Oregon Ducks against the Ohio State Buckeyes, man. And uh, that came down to, I believe one play, but I was, uh, you know, at the end of the day, Ohio State lost. They they lost to Oregon. Um, I think it was like thirty two to thirty three or thirty one to thirty two, one of the two, by one point. And Oregon pulled it off, man. I think last year I thought Oregon was um, dangerous as well, and with, with uh, Bo Nix, and was you know going to possibly go all the way to the championship or something. But 
this year they dangerous, man. They dangerous again. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, man. I, at the beginning of the game when I saw the defense and just the intensity, they just had a different look. They just had a different look about them. Like, like we want this, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I'm not an Oregon fan, by you know, I'm not a I'm not a duck at all. But um, I did notice that. I'm like, man, something. It's like some years when you see Georgia or you see Alabama or you see a certain team, you like, oh yeah, they 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 might take this. They might go to the chip. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong, but I, they just had something dangerous about them. I saw. Um, but then. Uh, Colorado and Kansas State, man. This was a game with a lot of hype, a game that had uh, a lot of implications on there. Uh, um, it was just a lot. Uh, we had a lot of celebrities there. We had Sauce Walker, KD, Mello, Kyan, uh, Cameron, uh, what's his name? Um, Jordan from the Clippers. He used to play for the Clippers. Uh, Westbrook. Um, we had a lot of people there. Every, all the celebrities out. CC Sabathia. Everybody was there. Uh, stage was set late game on the eastern east side i say east side uh eastern uh time uh it was like 10 o'clock 10 30 when it started uh, mountain time was like eight eight something there and so uh it was a dry game at first a lot of injuries um you know colorado had three notable injuries and kansas state had a bunch of injuries a bunch of guys i didn't know uh what well, we the most important one i would say travis hunter he went down in the first half and never came back he was on the sidelines, but he didn't play the rest of the game. Um, Jimmy Horn Jr., he went down. Um, and then Omarion Miller, who was actually, like, really balling out, man, he went down. We had our number one and two receiver go down, and then one of our really, really good receivers go down as well. And uh, it came down to the end of the game. I mean, we were losing, um, and we got a crucial tip and an interception on defense with, like, I don't know, like three-something – like right under four minutes left in the game, something like that. Um, we we got the ball down in the red zone. We scored, and we're up. We're up by like I want to say four um, with three minutes left, right? So we're up by four. We came back into the game. I mean, storybook. We're up by four. Well, <laughs> Kansas State gets the ball. And uh, their quarterback, man, he a uh, little cocky dude, but he's Avery Johnson, I think his name is. He's he's a good quarterback, man. He They threw a play to the running back. Running back goes down the sideline. They chased him down, um, and then they threw a bomb. He threw a bomb down the left sideline, and they scored. Now they're up by three. They're up by three. Colorado gets the ball back with two minutes and ten seconds. Um, up until this point, is no, I have to make sure I call out the running back for Kansas State. Um, Dylan Edwards is the half, halfback, but the, the main running back, forget his name, he's a dog, man. He's going to go to the NFL. Mm-hmm. He's that good. He was he was running. He made Shiloh Sanders. He juked him so bad that he fell on his knees like like he was like about to pose or something. Like, it was crazy. Um, but so Colorado get the ball back uh, two minutes, ten seconds. Uh, Shador and them, they start marching down the field. We thinking, okay, well, all we need is a field goal to tie it or a touchdown to win it. Um, things are looking like, oh, we're gonna march down the field. It's third down, big third down. Think of, we got some penalties that we shouldn't have got. Um, and it's like third and eleven. Shador throws a pass for like I want to say four or five yards. That is to me, that's where they lost the game. And I tell you why. It's third down. It's like third and eleven. You do not throw a a. a a four or five yard pass. I would have preferred him at least run it. Right. Run it. Right. Right. Okay. Um, Cause you still had a timeout, but he did that. And I think that's the play everybody's overlooking because now you put the whole game on the line on one play on fourth down. Now on fourth down, he threw a pass to uh, Will Shepard who had a big drop earlier in the game, but he threw a pass to him hoping it looked like they were hoping they were playing for the pass interference call. I hate when quarterbacks do that. Sometimes if you do that, that's good. If it's like first, second down, not fourth down. Because if you don't get that call, the game's over. Mm-hmm. They were they would look like they were looking to try to draw uh pass interference. They didn't get it. Um, and that was pretty much the game. Colorado State or <laughs> the volume's down. There you go. 
Nope. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Kansas State won that one by three points, man. It was uh, it was a heartbreaking loss. Yeah. Um, Colorado is now four and two. Uh, Kansas State is now five and one. Um, the reason why, for many reasons, that was a heartbreaking loss. Now that was a conference game, so now Colorado lost one game in the conference. They would have been three and zero in the conference, meaning they were going to be at the top of the conference. Um, so that's one reason. Uh, number two, that game stayed on till two in the morning yeah. <laughs> in the east East Coast. So I stayed up watching that at two in the morning just to be disappointed and go to sleep. <laughs> but that was that. All right, skull buff still though. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Hold up, hold up. Still repping. <laughs> All right. Bronny, they got um they were saying that his debut for the fall preseason not looking too well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think as the season goes, I think he just needs some time. Mm-hmm. I think he just needs some time, honestly. I think as the season goes along, um, or you know, even as the beginning of the season happens, he'll get better. But the way I see it is, like, you know, sometimes he don't be knocking down shots and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he's a good distributor. Even though he hasn't been knocking down shots, certain things, he can work on that. He's a good facilitator, is what I should say. He 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 can get you some good assist. Um, and I think just give him a little time. They I feel like they, they've been too – you got to be crucial on him because he's an adult, right? But at the same time, I th- I felt the way I saw him play, like he makes good decisions. For the most part, he makes some good decisions. Let him let him get that experience on the court. Let's say 10, 15 games in, you know, even 20 games in. We'll reassess the situation. We re- reassess the situation, but let him get some burn first. My only problem is that I feel like if you make it to the NBA, you should already be past that, though. True. Now, that's where we, you know, the part that we overlook, LeBron effect. Yeah, you know, you know who his dad is. Um, and that's fine, but then I feel like his dad should have made sure he was ready for this type of things. LeBron's the best player, has been the best player for like almost 20 years. Yeah. So he knows what, what needs to be done, not be done on the court. Yeah, this Bron's twenty second year in the league, man. He knows exactly. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think he just need a little time. Give him, give him at least ten games. If he, if he ain't looking better in ten games, do what you, what you, what you need to. But, um, I think give him ten games. He don't, he don't get it together. Then, then, G League, maybe. That's what some people are saying. All right, Bronny, what are we watching? Ready for a fun topic? Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to go with four artists from the South, four rappers. Uh-oh. And we're going to see who has the best catalog. Mm. We got T.I., Gucci Man, Young Jeezy, Rick Ross. <sighs> That's out, tough. Out bro. of all of their music, who has the best catalog to you? That's tough because I like songs. See, the thing for me is I like a lot of songs from each of them, mm-hmm. but... I'm not going to be like, oh, I love this album more than, uh, our, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like um, that's a tough one. I, for me, it's between T.I. and Jeezy. T.I. and Jeezy? For me, it's between T.I. and Jeezy. Um, I'm going to go, sheesh, this is tough. I'm going to go T.I. T.I. Okay, so for me, it was between T.I. and Rick Ross, right? I'm not mad at that either. And the way I kind of broke it down is, okay, if I was going to drive from Atlanta to California and I had to just listen to one person's music from here to there, who would I want to listen to? Mm, okay. And for me, I would go with T.I. Yeah. Okay. And 57% of people agree with us. Nice. So T.I. has the best catalog. But all the other artists are super great. Gucci, yeah. Jeezy, and Rick Ross. Word. Yeah, I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. But, yeah, I, I had to edge it to T.I. All right, guys. If you made it to the end, we want to thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
If you want to hear more music vlogs and music critiques, check out my channel. More music and vlogs, check out Slice's channel. I'm Canary Valance. Slice. Peace.